very much for coming. All right. Uh, we're very pleased to have to welcome all the Vaishnavas here at 26 Second Avenue. Uh, that everyone is welcome here, and of course, uh, everyone knows the uh, significance of 26 Second Avenue. That this is the beginning of uh, Prabhupada's official preaching in the in the West. So, in either directly or indirectly, uh, most of us here have uh, uh, some uh, sentiment or have some kind of indebtedness to this place, 26 Second Avenue. And we thank everyone for coming here and for uh, giving your association to all of us who regularly come here. I might especially, something. yes, please, How Maharaj. Here? Especially we, sorry. <laughs> yes. I yes. that you are from beginning. No, yeah. I, I'm not uh, from this place, from uh, the West Coast. From he was first temple Los president Angeles. in Los Angeles. First temple president. Yeah. So uh, Prabhupada was, uh, originally came, uh, of course, in 1965, and he was staying with some people and giving lectures in various places. And uh, then he uh, came to New York. He continued to give lectures in various places with no fixed place. So uh, he had to tolerate a, a very uh, uncomfortable situation in uh, one apartment, living with uh, only some young people and uh, one of these people was crazy. So it was a very uncomfortable, difficult situation. Then he had some followers, some young men, and uh, they were not very serious. But he requested them, please help me. Help me to find a place. So two of them especially uh, took this seriously that uh, we can't subject uh, Carl Jurgens and uh, Michael, Grant. Michael Grant. That's uh, Mukunda Goswami now. He is Mukunda Goswami. Carl Jurgens is not associated anymore with devotees, but he was initiated. What is his name? He took the initiation. But Carl Apathy. So these two uh, helped Prabhupada and uh, Mukunda found this place and uh, there was also a residence, an apartment in the uh, across this courtyard here. So together the two places then uh, became the official place for for Prabhupada to preach. Then in the beginning this was for the residence or his cooking and that was there. Reaching. Cooking was in the residence just okay. across here. Yeah, he used to cook right in right and right Yes, Harikata and um, Prachar, yes, exactly. And uh, it, uh, students were not very serious. Uh, Prabhupada then uh, was cooking in his apartment and also cleaning up after these young uh, students were coming and uh, taking Prashad in the middle of the day. Some of them were just loitering. They had nothing to do, no uh, occupation. And so they were coming uh, regularly just to take prasad from Swamiji. Then uh, he was giving in the evening and uh, the morning classes here in this place. So more people were coming to the classes and then a few uh, who later became more serious, they were taking prasad with Swamiji in midday. So gradually, gradually, Prabhupada taught them how to clean the pots, how to cook prasad, how to do everything, lead Sankirtan, how to manage the finances, how to administrate the mandir. So in this way Prabhupada uh, actually began with uh, very little, nothing, only some raw material. So then he began also back to Godhead magazine as Maharaj 
said, and uh, it was printed in a very uh, crude manner, uh, just here in this center. So they they used to uh, print this, and then go on the street and distribute the magazine. Then. Uh, at some point, they also began to go to the nearby park, about eight, ten blocks away, and uh, have some kirtan on uh, Sundays or on uh, special days in the park. Oh yes, Tompkins Square Park. Then. Charter. Charter, yes, yes. The uh, <coughs> incorporation, yes. The uh, so then in July, after a few months, the, uh, Prabhupada wanted to incorporate the society as International Society for Christian Consciousness. And some devotees they were embarrassed because they said, the Swamiji has called it international but actually we have only one center. So they were embarrassed. Then uh, after some months, again uh, then in December, uh, Prabhupada went to <coughs> West Coast, to San Francisco. He began there. Then constantly Prabhupada was preaching open temples, open temples. If, any, if anybody came who was serious, he said, I want 108 temples. So then, if somebody was serious or senior, he said, you please go to this place. Somebody would write a letter to Prabhupada, uh, this Vancouver, Canada, <coughs> Los Angeles, San Diego, some, uh, they're suggesting that this is a good place. Then Prabhupada would see somebody and say, you go, you go, you go. So that in this way, centers began in various places. Prabhupada Maharaj, you please. You can tell something because you are so serious here. Yes. Chaksur on Yalitam Yen, it has my Sri Gurave Nama, Panchakalpaturu, Yasha Kripas in the Vavacha, Patitanam, Avalivio, Vaishnavio. So I joined in October of 1966, and I met Srila Prabhupada at that famous tree in Tompkins Square Park. And then uh, some stranger invited me to the temple here. And uh, right at that corner of the temple, somebody handed me a japati. And as I was eating it and thinking how intoxicating this tasted, I overheard two brahmacharis speaking. One was saying to the other, that Swamiji has just said that when God brothers fight or argue, it should be taken as clouds passing by. In other words, when clouds pass by, nobody notices it. So very insignificant. Then someone invited me up to Prabhupada's quarters, just a few feet across the courtyard. And um, in Prabhupada's room, anybody could go in at that time. Prabhupada sat back. There were just a bunch of hippies in his room. We were all hippies. And Prabhupada said, this process is nothing that you or I have made up. It is very old and simple and sublime. Then he sat back and he said, we are temporary. Uh, this body is temporary. Everything around us is temporary, but we are eternal. And then he invited me to come to the morning and evening programs. He had morning program at 7 o'clock some sara prayers, and then always the morning tune of Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Hare Krishna. And then he'd speak on Srimad Bhagavatam. And then one month later in November 19th, he began speaking on Chaitanya Charitamrita, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Sanatana Goswami, chapter 20, 22. And he would speak about the different incarnations. He would speak how Krishna is on his road show, traveling throughout the universes. And then he would speak about the love of Radha and Krishna. He would quote Radha Krishna Pranaya Vrikati Ladini Shakti Asmat, how the love of Radha and Krishna is the 
highest um, manifestation of the absolute truth. And I remember after one class, I asked him, because I thought that I'm a girl, Radharani is a girl, and Krishna is a boy, I asked him up in his quarters if it's all right to be jealous of Radharani. And he said, no, you can only get to Krishna through Radharani. And then he was sitting in his courtyard here, just outside the temple, and he was sitting on a beach chair, that is those plastic chairs with the sewn, and uh, all the devotees were coming up to him and he was patting everybody on the back, petting the girls on the head. And he said that, um, then he said that Krishna is very strict and Radharani is very nice. He said, even if I'm a nonsense, if I approach Radharani, then she will go to Krishna and say, I can never love you as much as this devotee, so please accept that devotee. And because the devotee is recommended by Radharani, then Krishna must accept. So upstairs in his quarters, he performed the, uh, all the initiation ceremonies. And I remember at my initiation, he was telling us about the chanting. And he said that the goal of chanting is that there should be tears falling from the eyes, shivering, hair standing on end. And this happens very easily unless there are offenses. And then he proceeded to list and explain the ten offenses to the chanting. And this upstairs is also where Prabhupada performed his own personal puja on his small uh, oval altar. And he would, every morning, he would offer Duparati and recite Oma Gyanam Timarandasya in offering uh, obeisances to his spiritual master. And in that same room, that room is called the altar room. That's where actually Srila Narayan Maharaj sent Prabhupada's <coughs> first Radha Krishna deities. And they were worshipped up in those quarters. Uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj also sent the first two Murdangas, Kartals, and all of Prabhupada's books from Calcutta. Um, any of you who know about preserving books, uh, you have to use this very toxic chemicals. So Srila Narayan Maharaj became ill in um, getting all of Prabhupada's books from Calcutta and mailing them here to New York so Srila Prabhupada could use them as references for his translations of the Gita and Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So in those quarters, uh, we worship the first deities and then in uh, April, uh, in, from January to April of 67, Prabhupada went to San Francisco and when he came back, he brought with him the uh, second Lord Jagannath deities of the movement. And uh, Jagannath and Balaram came with Prabhupada and uh, Prabhupada personally put them up on their first altar, which was two brown chairs. And Prabhupada put his arms around Jagannath and Baladev and got them into their places like that, moved them with his arms. And then Subhadra came from San Francisco a couple of days later and Prabhupada said she's late just like a woman, but she's the most beautiful of the three. And then uh, in April, Prabhupada continued his Chaitanya Charitamrita to classes, and also he began his series of teachings of Prahlad Maharaj. He also instructed me to do these paintings that you see around the uh, walls, this one of Radha and Krishna. He told me to copy from his very first uh, first Canto Srimad Bhagavatam cover, which incidentally, when Prabhupada was printing those Bhagavatams in Delhi, Srila Narayan Maharaj was associating with Prabhupada. When Prabhupada was at that Radha Damodar temple, they would cook together, talk together, so many things. Uh, Maharaj explains that Prabhupada was wearing worn and torn cloth, and he gave Prabhupada his chatter to lie down on. They would make chupatis together and discuss Prabhupada's plans for coming to America. <coughs> and then uh, Prabhupada had me do this painting here in 1967 of Jashoda and Krishna. And he explained, he explained that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other avatar or acharya ever gave before. That is previously the highest concept of God was as God is the Father, the order supplier. But here in this picture it shows that um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give something much higher, that one can become even the mother of God, the friend of God, the lover of God. And he's showing, he explained that 
because he was cutting the jungles of Mayavad philosophy, he said, we don't want to become one with God. And he pointed to that painting and he said, we want to become greater than God so that God depends on us just like Mother Yasoda. There were two uh, Brijbasi prints right over here. One of Krishna feeding um, Glovjumins to a calf and the other very beautiful of Krishna sitting on the rock. And Prabhupada said on his Vyasasana right there, <coughs> he said, we are not interested. The Vyasasana is not there, but there's a photo. I don't know if that photo can be taken off the wall above you or if it's attached. But Prabhupada's Vyasasana was right there. And this is a photo of Srila Prabhupada sitting uh, on that Vyasasana with a oval picture of Radha and Krishna above him. That was taken in 1967 right here. Um, so Prabhupada said, he was looking at those Prajbasi prints, and he said, we are not interested in going to Vaikuntha. We want to be with Krishna sitting on the rock in Vrindavan. So I don't want to take any more time because uh, now I'll introduce Srila Narayan Maharaj, who himself has come from Vrindavan, just like Srila Prabhupada, to New York to glorify Prabhupada and continue his mission. He says continually that he came to the West for three reasons. The first reason is to um, go to all the holy places, particularly this holy place, where Prabhupada established temples and take the dust from Prabhupada's feet, place that dust on his own head, bathe himself or abhishek himself with that dust so that he would get energy to continue Prabhupada's mission. So, so this was uh, a big landing place for Swami Maharaj, for Srila Prabhupada. And uh, he introduced that, uh, what became probably known as Krishna consciousness. I've seen this very nice painting here, I assume by Jadarani of Pratamashad, and underneath at an angle is Krishna. But consciousness is with Sri Prabhupada. So for Krishna consciousness uh, necessitates uh, the devotee, the participation of the devotee. How we, we will be Krishna conscious alone is, is impossible. So our Sri Pandaraya has come here actually by invitation of Srila Prabhupada. <coughs> and um, that invitation was given long, long time ago. And uh, in a very uh, very happy and charming way Maharaj has come here. Before before we left Thompson Square Park, I gave him a piece of the tree <coughs> that Srila Prabhupada chanted under and requested him take this back, back to the church. So it is indeed a holy place, a pilgrimage. Um, maybe something like the Siddha Baku tree and Jagannath Puri where Acharya Haridas Thakur did his bhajan, mm -hmm. chanting lakhs of names daily. And Srila Prabhupada came out from Vrindavan, his rooms in Radha Damodar, he made a tremendous sacrifice that, that most of us know <coughs> well about. Um, and uh, our Sri Padna Maharaj, he knows well about Srila Prabhupada also, his struggles here. And he knows him internally also. And um, two things I'll mention more. One is that once when Swami Maharaj was questioned how difficult a place it is, where you've gone and how you've succeeded there, he replied by saying, well, I am a Calcutta boy. <laughs> and anyone who has seen Calcutta knows that if you are trained in Calcutta, New York is, you know, no problem for you. <laughs> and uh, second thing is that Maharaj told yesterday that uh, Srila Prabhupada requested him by his own hand to place him in Samadhi. And uh, I had the fortune of being standing behind Maharaj when Srila Prabhupada requested that. And then he was... Actually, Srila Prabhupada requested him to sit on his bed Please sit here. Babaji Maharaj and others used to come to see Srila Prabhupada, who were directly his uh, god brothers, disciples of Saraswati Thakur. Especially Babaji Maharaj used to just jump onto Srila Prabhupada's bed, almost <laughs> shocking us. He would just jump and sit next to Prabhupada, and they would talk in Bengali, and he would start to sing. So uh, when Narayan Maharaj came to visit that day, Prabhupada asked him, please sit on my bed. But Maharaj declined. He would not sit on his bed. 
And he told Maharaj, I cannot sit on your bed. You're, you're my guru. And I remember seeing uh, Srila Prabhupada's face over his shoulder. Prabhupada was lying on the bed. And he looked at I mean, I'm Maharaj and he said, yes, for a long time I know you are, you are, our relationship is like that. You are seeing like that, that I am your Guru Maharaj. So of course that is Shiksha Guru and there is much intimacy there. But it is, it, is a, it is a true thing that there is the external movement of the Vaishnava and the internal movement. And we know much about Srila Prabhupada externally, what he did. But what moved him internally to do all these things uh, in, in many cases remains a great mystery. And it is in relation to the internal prospect that he requested Maharaj to personally place him in the Samadhi. That is not an ordinary thing. It cannot be done by ordinary things, actually. Uh, and not simply because Maharaj has studied many books and knows many things and many appropriate mantras. It's also necessary. But because of the great intimacy which they shared together for many years. And I know that if Srila Prabhupada was here today to personally welcome Maharaj, he's welcoming him to all of you and us. Uh, he would be very happy to take him to Radha Govindaji, Mandir, the Darshan of uh, Radha Govinda. But uh, unfortunately, there's not maybe time for that or situation. Srila Prabhupada always uh, chose some special place of residence. Vrindavan, he lived near that, uh, what was that temple, Gopal, temple at first, near Keshigat. He tried for a long time to secure his rooms in Radha Damodar. At Delhi, he lived in a place called Chipiwada. At Chipiwada, there's the, the deities of Radha Krishna. <coughs> and his struggles began there. He used to sometimes sleep in a doorway. I met many people in Delhi who assisted Srila Prabhupada in his Delhi struggles to print those Bhagavatams. He printed his Bhagavatams at a press. You know the name of that press? Radha Press. I found that press. Great difficulty. The, the OK Press, that was OK. <laughs> that was from back to Godhead. But to press the book of Bhagavatam, he chose Radha Press. He lived in, before that, Radha Shmarik. Shmarik is called in Jansi, Radha Shmarik. Not just take, and not simply coincidentally either. But Srila Prabhupada did not speak much about his personal struggles and, and so many things. But he chose these things very expertly. And when I went to this Radha press, which is over across the Yamuna River in Delhi, I saw that press. That day there was one big Mayavadi at that press. Dongri Maharaj was there. So we had some words. And then I went in the press, and the press that printed the Bhagavatam is in the middle of a floor. It's quite neat and clean, surprising for a press in India. Very neat. And all along the wall there are slokas at this press. And all Sanskrit and Hindi. So I'm not reading Sanskrit and Hindi. I'm a stupid fellow. So I'm looking at all these things. What is this? Oh, this is your sloka. Why we eat a Bhagavatam? Then I look. One sloka was in English. That sloka was Trinada Peace and Niche Na. It is spelled in English. So I asked this Sharmaji, whose press it was, who worked for Dalmia. The secretary for Mr. Donald. I asked him, well, why this sloka is in English? Then he told, oh, you're Guru Maharaj. He told, one sloka you must put here in English. And he told, uh, this uh, Trinada piece in each not from Shikshastra, by Mahaprabhu. I thought, oh, that is very nice. Then later I heard from some of the god brothers of our Shikshastra <coughs> in Gaudiya Mat that uh, the, they used to joke with him because he was a chemist. They would say, hey, Babu, can you put some formula for Krishna consciousness into a bottle? Because <laughs> he's making formulas. He told, yes, I have the formula. <laughs> but difficulty is putting in the bottle. <laughs> and they said, you have the formula. What is that formula? And he told, Trinata, peace, and nature. Without humility, Krishna consciousness is only mental speculation pundit knowledge and all these things. The crown jewel of the Vaishnava is, is humility. And at that time also I discovered a, I was visiting 
the gentleman who owned the OK Press, and uh, now he's now a lawyer, but I visited his uh, Delhi home in Old Delhi, and uh, he gave me some very old books that Sri Prabhupada had published. Bhagavatam with black covers. Originally he printed red cover and black cover and then made a choice. But then he gave me this one volume one black cover. So he was there, his wife was there, his daughter was there, who was now about that time about 29 years old or so. And at that time that little, that lady was just a baby, a few months old. And Philip Prabhupada used to come there and do so many things. Actually he used to cook their lunch for them. And they would take the shot together. I saw one plaque on the wall. It said, I am a servant of God. God will protect me. Why I should fear for anything? Or why I should worry? Worry or fear, I think. So I thought, that sounds familiar. So I asked, who has written this? They said, oh, daily. We were telling your Guru Maharaj, you don't have proper cloth don't have proper place to stay, you need to put money aside and get these things for yourself. Why do you go through all these difficulties? And he would say, I am servant of God. God will protect me. Therefore, I should fear for him. So he sacrificed everything, and on the way, he charmed everyone. Everyone that he met in this world. And, uh, uh, and came here and continued to charm devotees and his charm certainly continues in the world even to this day. So I myself feel very fortunate to uh, uh, know Sri Narayan Maharaj on various levels. It's 1976 July. We first met Patit Udarn, Patit Pavana. He found Maharaj's temple. He came to us uh, in Vrindavan, he told I have found the temple where Prabhupada took sannyas. And I have seen the photo. So I said, oh, take me there. I want to see this place. So we went there, and that was before remodeling. There was one, like, lotus in the center of the floor. So some brahmacharis there, they told, yes, you're Swami Maharaj taking sannyas here. So we went to our head. And then uh, briefly, <coughs> we met Narayan Maharaj. They, they finally gave us this photo of Srila Prabhupada taking sannyas. That photo is everywhere, it is famous, it is dear to all. These things which are dear to us, which are connected to Srila Prabhupada, we must consider that by whose hand we get these things, those persons must also be dear to us. It is not simply Prabhupada came, <coughs> he came, but he had backing, he had friends, he had people that he remembered. And Maharaj, as has been said many times through his American tour, he sent the first Murdanda. As soon as I heard he's coming to America, <coughs> but now he's come to play the Murdanda. <laughs> I didn't see him play with the fingers, but we're dancing. He's playing the Murdanda. Go fast. He's going to go fast and go slow. So he's playing the Murdanda, the Brihat Murdanda, the preaching Murdanda. Deities, Madanga, uh, Peda. Uh, but I wonder, who got the Peda? Right. No, he sent it, but who ate it? Only Prabhupada? Yeah. You probably wouldn't remember. It was just a, a dark, round, mushy, <laughs> mudu. Mudu, not mudu. So, Maharaj, now we'll hear something from you, please. Go, <laughs> Primarandi. Vancha kalpatarubhasya krika sindhubhyai vacha patita nam pavanibhyo vaisna vipyo namo namo mahabhadana krishna prima pradayi krishna ya krishna chaitanya namne gauratishi gurave gaurachandraya radhika yaitadale 
कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय कर भक्ता जन I'm remembering all the things when I met him, how I heard him, <coughs> how my first meeting, how sannyas, how serving him. last meeting and i served him in vrindavan as if some real serving him was a very bosom friend of my gurudev he was a bona fide guru nishtha you know guru nishtha always internally outwardly serving his holy master he has not anything to do for himself only to carry the order of his holy master and to serve radha krishna and sri chaitanya mahaprabhu when i compare my gurudev and him i realize that both are in the same platform and they are really there tan man and vachan means body mind and soul also was <coughs> they have offered in the lotus feet of that holy master we offer our soul in the lotus feet of our holy master but we cannot do only by words or something but only by atma by mind we cannot do but i have seen and i have realized from my guru dev how he has served his guru dev with his soul mind life and everything it will be a very big history like same so he has not come for he any making money for reputation for any worldly things that from india so many persons come to west for money wealth reputation to be easy in their life but he has not come for this to only by the order of his guru dev master and to fulfill the orders of his one of his spiritual radha and krishna conjugal his guru dev was most dearest beloved of shrimati radhika he had not told that i am the servant of krishna <coughs> i 
नमो विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती नाम श्री बार्ष भानवी देवी दईताय so i think that simati radhika has told to him that order this your maid servant to go to world and to inspire inspire all human beings not him and all the creatures and all living entity they should come to me there is no bhakti in western countries no bhakti they don't know anything they don't chant krishna or mahaprabhu always so much in mardi what the gratification sense gratification so you should go and help so we can the message was mission the same i check on the mahaprabhu came i think that so many of the disciples of sami ji that don't know all these things that he has come for one for the same mission for the chaitanya mahaprabhu came रूप सनातन रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी कविराज गोस्वामी श्रीभक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल वेयर सो नियर एंड डियर देवर इन देर पास्ट लाइफ देवर अ प्रज समान कमन मंजरी श्रीभक्ति विनोद ठाकुर प्रभुपाल सिंह नैन मंजरी श्रीलरूप गोस्वामी रूप मंजरी सरूप दामोदर वाज ललिता विशाखा वाज राय रमन सो बीसी be a pure dish of god you will have to be to take that the same bottle in the fridge everything is formula is there tena tapi suni chena taro rapi sahi sunna mani na man de na tritani asara if you want to be a vaishnava we want to be a vaishnava but this is log but <coughs> is wall if you are not following this is log it cannot be pure devotion but i am thinking now and realizing it that this is lok had been uh, over cited now some devotees are doing against this and he is saying this and he is so sad for this so we have not come here to take worldly knowledge <coughs> now we are going to all the things and every way to what knowledge we will have from there we don't know any knowledge we not want only bhakti jo by this hare naam hare naam hare naam ai va kevalam kalau nasti vanasti ho he has come to preach this thing. anyone no need of learning anything more what knowledge krishna tattva maya tattva every tattva will come automatically by following hare krishna hare krishna krishna will manage name is more powerful than i know him from very deeply i think that most of you have not birth at that time I met him <coughs> in the end of 46 or beginning of 47. I think very few at that time you will have passed there. 
and from there I'm serving him. I'm known at that time anyone not to serve him, but I was to serve him. He used to meet me as like a friend, not a disciple always. But I treated him like Shiksha. And that is why when he was penniless, he was a straight figure, he came to me at Mathura. When his sons and wife kicked him, no place in home, he came to me and told the story. When I joined, when I met with Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Goswami Thakur, he was telling to me, sitting together in Mathura, about in 1957 or like. When I was initiated by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Goswami Thakur, I read a slow Jasya Jada Anugranami Harisheta Dhanamushanai. Those who take shelter of Krishna, Krishna make him, always makes him a street bear. Now he has made me so. I was saying that when I will chant more, do devotional services, then I may be a street bear. Now I see that I am a street bear. I advise them that Krishna does not want, or your Prabhupada does not want, that you should be successful in your worldly things. So he has done like so. You are so much powerful, you are so much learned. Your Holy Master has told you to preach in Western countries in English language. <coughs> your language is English language is so rich. You can do only in Bangalore, Bengali language we talk each other. He told me, I don't know what to do. But I know that Krishna mercy has come, that is why I have become bigger. And in the meantime, our Guru, Gurudev come, came to Mathura from Navadvipa. And I also requested him, <coughs> that he should tell him to take renounced order. My Guru Dev also requested him and he became. He agreed. And next day at the time of Vishwaru Khaur, when Vishwaru was in Purnima, in Bhat Purnima he the month of yeah, before cutting. Yes. Second month, beginning of Then he took sannyas. I, I managed everything from danda, door coping, cloth, everything I managed. I also managed for it. Fire sacrifice, jagga, and I did it. I recited his months. Then Guru Maharaj came, gave door, coping, month, and Krishna Das Maharaj was at that time also doing Krishna. Someone told, someone asked me or told me among the disciples of Swamiji having done the GVC members that sannyas giving is only a secondary thing. I told them, you don't know anything. You have not? No. Sanyas is given for only gopi bhav. The mantra is gopi bhav. This mantra is itself for gopi bhav. So, sanyas is not an ordinary thing. The Buddha sees that he may have this 
Bhagavad Gita, this mantra and this sannyas, that now I have no nothing to do with worldly things, I want peace. So it is not a second. It opens the door to go to Braja in the mood of Gopi. And I saw them. Then they so only this is not second thing. Guru Dev get you. Sometimes maybe that Diksha Guru cannot give, but after that Siksha Guru can give it. So it was happened. Then our relation became more thick and more thick, like friends. I went with him in Jhansi and wherever he used to go to for preaching. He wanted to be always with me. I used to help him in cooking, everything. He used to also translate Gita. In being Keshavji Gaudiyamati, he translated Gita so much, I was helping him in all respects. After we went to <coughs> Vrindavan, in Rukh Goswami Samadhi and Bhajanasthali, and after that, he planned to come to Western countries. He told me that I want to open some rooms for students boarding, lodging, and I will help them. And if it will be essential, then I will supply also eggs, maids, and everything what they want. But there will one condition that is, they will have to tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare. At least one, one round. And I know that they will give up all these things in very short time and they will be born of fire question. So he was so generous. I sent, as you have heard, I've sent everything to Swamiji, helped him to send all his books. Only he took with him one Gita and three volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam, <coughs> Ekarta, and some nothing with him. I remember now that the address where I used to send this is 2nd, 22nd Avenue this. So, so many things happened and when he used to do anything new, he used to write me. About 300 or more than that. Let us correspondence with him. When uh, this institution, uh, what? Was established, he at once wrote me that we are coming. He told also that so many hippies are coming now. <laughs> and they will be happy this also. When he came to this place, he wrote me. When he went to San Francisco, so from here, there, he used to write. So, our Friendship went on this. And he, when he returned first time in India with Kirtan Ananda and Achutananda, perhaps was there too. I was only one man to receive him in airport of Delhi. None was there. And I was with him about 15 days there in Delhi and he went to Radha Damodha Temple. After that, I went to India. And time to time, I used to go there. I know that all the Goswamis of Vrindavan and his god brothers, they don't use to take even a touched water by Krishnananda and Parsita. Because they are Western and they have taken place and all these things. 
but I used to see it with Maharaj Swamiji and to see it with Kirtananda Chola because they were disciples of Swamiji. And I used to take Prasadam, Mahaprasadam, everything. Still, Swamiji was alive. No one took anything from him, not even the water. <coughs> But now they are be becoming friends of GBC. And I am thrown out. Perhaps they don't know. There are so much children. They don't remember the days when he called all and told. Narayan Maharaj has come. Now I am so glad. Everything will be done. Narayan Maharaj says, you should give me Shamadhi. With your own hand, I know that you are so qualified for all these things. And also try to, to help them. I brought all these boys, like a naughty boy, not knowing everything. He also liked monkeys. <coughs> also he told. You should help me. I told that I will carry your order to my ability. And then he began. He also called up them and I told that you should not think that he is going to die. But this is a play a role. He is going to serve eternally to his master's divine couple and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu. And in body, in one body he will be here forever to nourish you. He can he can have so many shapes as Krishna has said. Like Narada, you know, they are lakhs and lakhs. Also, Yashoda Mahanand Baba, all are lacks and lacks manifestations. In this way, he will be here and always among you, giving inspirations and making arrangement. But if you think that he is mortal mind, then everything will be a spoiled. Yes, Don't quarrel among you for money, wealth, reputation, and everything. He used to try to fulfill his mission, what he did. Try to honor all devotees, whether they are in Kanishtadikari or Madham or Uttam. So if there are no devotees, also not initiation, heaven, if they are chanting Hare Krishna. He used to honor all. As a family, we are all in the family of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> So I remember all these things. I think that he has dropped me here. And if he is seeing all these things, the Narayan Maharaj is here in my 22nd Avenue here. He has been in California. He has been to Manor in England. He was in Los Angeles. And everywhere he is showing me that, oh, here I have you. So I am so much fortunate to come to this place and to take the feet dust of Swami here. It is so much Maha Mahatirth, like Haridas Thakur when he left his body, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself carried his body and he gave Samadhi with his own hand and told that now this is Maha Maha Mahatirth. <coughs> He was at first Tirtha, but by the touching the four feet of Hidartha, so powerful Mahatirtha. So it is also on the sea coast, perhaps eastern coast, and in western coast, California and <coughs> all places, Los Angeles, even there, all places. They have become. Uh, so Mahatirtha. 
So my first mission is now. Four finished. And he, I want his mercy. That where he is, I should go there to meet my Gurudev and him and to serve Pani Sukhan, divine. Okay. But I am waiting. When they will call, I will go. But till I will have to be in Vrindavan, Mathura and all the places practicing Trina Dapi Suni Chena Tarurapi Sahishuna Manina Manade Shri Gauranga Bolite Have Pula Karsari Rupa Rakhunathe Haibe Akuti Kabe Ami Pujha Vase Like this Our ultimate goal to serve that she told, <coughs> Jadurani told, I don't tell her, her Jadurani, but I used to tell her by the name of Shamrani. First, he was in drowning in this world things. Swamiji took her and he gave in the service of Krishna, Jadu is Krishna, and Jadu Rani. And then I told her, better you can serve Radha and Krishna. Swami has promoted to this. I want that by His grace, this should be Shyam. So she told, the main object of Swami is to come here. Not to be the servant of Krishna, he is crooked and sometimes he is so hard. But Srimati Radhika is so simple, soft, sweet, fragrant, everything. <laughs> Krishna has admitted in Chaitanya Chaitamri that my Guru is Srimati Radhika. And we will have to serve. And for this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to this world. This is the first mission and most important mission of Swami. He <coughs> lost his so much time in clearing Mayabad, Karmabad, Gyanbad, Jogabad, everything. Cut in cutting jungles and to make a very clear of and then he get the seed of bhakti and that is called to serve Krishna, Isu. And it will come in the shape of outwardly, sraddha, nishtha, ruchi, asakti, bhav. And then nothing in this world to do. Prem will come in next, but when we will be in Vrindha? So he has come to be this, not to be in always in lower class, always doing the service at first he gave, only to distribute books, to do something, to write something, to do kirtan in the streets. You have to go up. You have to do also, and you have to go up. Shraddha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti. What is Asakti? What is Ruchi? What is Bodh? What is Vishuddha Sattva? You have to be. Not only that Kirtan doing, but that is end. That Kirtan is of Kanishtadika. Names are of so many, so many things. When a man being in the worldly things, if he chants and knows that this body I, I show, I am this body, then his name is third class. Not pure. As much as he develops his Krishna consciousness, name goes pure and pure. When there are offenses, when there are 
partly intoxications and all these things. By this name we can have some wealth, reputation, all these things. Sometimes if Namabhas we can go to, um, we can have a liberation, but not bhakti at all. By the grace of Gurudev, we will develop our heart in the stage of ruchi, then we will see. We are in line. And then name will be somewhat perfect. When offenses will go, and suddhanam pyornam will come, and then we will realize, I want this thing. I want same affection and love for me, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Otherwise, we will never know what was the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what was the mission of our disciple orders, Guru Dev, and also we will think that he was only like us, he had preached some name, but this is not only the glory of our Guru Dev or Swamiji, his glory was that he was before he engaged, he is always engaged in the service of Radha and Krishna. Mercifully he has come to this world. And he has given something. So we should try to know him and to glorify him. And to preach his mission to this world. Don't we should be stayed in one platform, but we develop our more spark. I pray here in the lotus place of Swamiji that he is, this will be a place to give more mercy so that we will be able to, to understand him in real. Guru Prachodaya, you know this mantra, third mantra, Guru Prachodaya, what is the meaning? Who are you? How are you? What is your share? What is your duty? What is your service to Krishna? And Krishna, Krishna, and Krishna, Krishna who is? Srimati Gadi. He should manifest in our heart. If you will do this mantra very carefully, with concentration, he will reveal his own things. Then we will see. Now we are seeing him not, not in his real self. Consider to see Krishna, but not real self. Oh, he is like that. Duryodha used to see him, Krishna. Never he has any understanding. <coughs> conception that he is Krishna. So we have seen, perhaps, we have no real conception. You should chant that mantra, very interesting, honorable. Then he may show us that he may manifest. If he has, we have seen him, anyone in this world, he cannot, he cannot uh, go down. Fall down. But I see that so many disciples are fall down, get their renounce order. Where are the persons of Bandas, Brahmananda, Kamananda? Where? If they have seen him and if they have served him, if they have served him for a moment, then he has never fallen, never fallen. But I see that served him in outward. So there are so many devotees I know that they are thinking that we accept him so much and serving. But I see very rare that <coughs> you are serving. You are all very good. Disciple from Samiji, no ego, nothing to control anyone. Any devotee, real devotee cannot control anyone. But we are trying to control. Oh, we are all monarch. We have become 
and we have served him and served him. But I, I know that very rare person can do. We have seen him from all point. We should try to see him in and to follow him. If anyone follow him a very little, he will surely have the Krishna brain and gold. I know. So we are begging to his his mercy in his lotus feet, that he should bestow his mercy more and more, that those who have come in his contact for a moment, those who have felt, yet they should return more. All should come. I think that they will have some chance. Even they have been fallen. If they have not done offense, but knowingly if they have Anyone will do offense, they will have to go very far away and they will never...